What's up, everybody? It is I, the Robozoid, your semi-likable and sometimes tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airways, giving you the kind of news that Happy Hoodie, Beardy Weirdy, and Dr. Optimism are afraid to give you. And let's get right into it, shall we? I'm going to play you two clips here. One of Kathy Chokehold from now, and then first a Kathy Chokehold clip from a little while ago where she pretty much flip-flops on the whole illegal alien issue and the whole border issue, as well as we're going to hear from cringe John Peary, KJP stain, sideshow Bob, race-swapped cosplayer, whatever you want to call her. So uh, let's, let's dive right into it right now, because quite frankly, Kathy Chokehold so aptly named because, let's face it, she has New York State in a chokehold. As you know, the Statue of Liberty is inscribed. It says, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled young masses yearning to be free, the wretched refuse to a teeming shore. And that statement encapsulizes our values. It was a poem written on the Statue of Liberty that was never intended for welfare recipients. It was written way before welfare became a thing. You post-op transvestite, bitch you. I want people to come here despite where they came from or despite the circumstances that drove them to this country and to this, and to this state, we see, say you are welcome here. We are welcome with open arms and we'll work to keep you safe. As long as you're, you're willing to work. Stupid! You're so stupid! Sure, that was then, but this is now. And here's what she had to say now. Going to leave your country, go somewhere else. Well, we want them to have a limit on who can come across the border. It is too open right now. We hit our capacity. Well, you kind of brought it on yourself, chokehold. I mean, that's why I really, really admire Greg Abbott, the Texas governor, because he's giving you a taste of your own medicine. I love it. Because you people with your NIMBY signs, not in my backyard, well, I hope you, you only get what you give, very much like the new Radicals song says, you only get what you give, you know, you give a, right, you gave us the illegal aliens, they crossed into our borders, and you gave them sanctuary cities and sanctuary states, so we're giving them back to you. I hope you enjoy it. Taste of your own medicine, bitches. Oh, by the way, there's also more to this unhappy tale. Of course, we have cringe John Pierre, the race swapped sideshow Bob cosplayer, with this bit of nonsense. To secure the border and to deal with this issue of immigration than anybody else. He really has. It is my testimony. Liar. That the border is secure. We have a secure border. We agree that uh, the border is secure. The border is secure. And as we all know, to blaze means to bluff. Huh? So you're probably playing cards, and he cheated. Liar! 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 They keep loving to say that. They keep loving to say that diversity is our strength. Ma diversity, ma diversity, diversity this, diversity that. You know what? Diversity is perversity, and everything that you people say is complete and utter bullshit. Yeah. Is it any wonder that the Democrats are sinking in the polls? Is it any wonder that your senile president, who clearly has a mild case of Parkinson's dementia, actually a major case of Parkinson's dementia, uh, is losing out here? I mean, you people keep spinning this thing like, oh, the border situation is fine. Everything's hunky-dory at the borders. No problem. Sure. But we know the absolute truth. People like you have been cutting down chain-link fences that were put up by Trump refusing to build the wall, and let's be honest here, you're just inviting them in here when they have no business being here. That's the problem with you people. You never learn from your screw-ups. That's, that's the way it's always going to be for you dummy crats. Well, this has been the Robozoid saying, I want you, if you enjoyed this video, to smash that like button, subscribe, it's good for you, it's good for me, it'll help you out in the long run, it helps me and my channel out, and quite frankly, you're going to be educated in ways that quite, that let's be honest, Happy Hoodie and Beardy Weirdy and Dr. Optimism 
are just not going to tell you. So keep in mind because, well, obviously the left don't, that wokeness is weakness. And also, of course, there's strength in numbers. That's why our voices need to be heard. We can no longer be the silent majority because we're turning into the silenced majority from this administration. Remember, folks, there must always be power to the people and above all else, the power to the music in the streets. And that is the music of our voices.